that name? Uh, my name is Daniel Salazar. I also go to Fremont. Uh, my name is Tommy Arizo. I go to Fremont. And where and where are y'all? Fremont. In Oakland, Oakland California. Oakland. Oh, California also? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Hi, and this is Paul Allison, and the broadcast did just start, so anything right, we're going so to do. Are you in high school? Yes, they're all in high school. Oh? Well, Drew, Drew does work in high school. Oh, so Drew does work in high school? No. Did, did Say some. Ask Drew where he works. Where do you work? So I work at a company called Guru. It's not in a school. Wait, 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 wait. Can you say the Can you say the word that you said from last time again? So I work for a company called Guru. It's not actually in a school. It's in a it's in a building in Palo Alto. Guru. 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 G O O R U. Do you guys Do you guys know where when you get your ancient Egypt um, assignments? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Some of those are on a program called Guru. Okay. Okay. <sighs> So you see all the work that we do? So my job is to introduce Guru to new teachers and, uh, and new students. So I don't actually see everything you do, but we just make it uh, available to other teachers and students uh, across the country and in different countries too. Uh, can I join you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no problem. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Chris Sloan. I teach in Utah. and. Um, we're going to be joined by Nick. Oh, shut up! Um, we're going to be joined by Nick in just a second who's doing some video game research. So, Mr. Allison, uh, Paul has Nick's contact information, so uh, you'll see my class in another uh, room here in just a second. Um, hey, do we have any resources on, um, is there a way that... Or how could the students here on this end be able to use Guru potentially? Can you explain what what they could do with it if they're going if they, if that was an avenue they wanted to explore? Can you give yeah. a synopsis of Guru that that what's the power yeah. tool for all three of them? Yeah, for sure. So if you guys uh, are looking for uh, to do some background research, you're looking for some articles, you're looking for some videos, you're looking for maybe some interactive resource. You could use uh, www.gurulearning.org to find things you like. And then once you find things you like, you can essentially add them to a collection. So you can start creating a collection of the things you find in Guru that you like. But you could also find things from all over the web that you you like as well. And you can add them to Guru. So. You want to? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Nick is here. Hello. Can you hear us? Hello. Hello. Hi. Click on this. Yeah. You want to do microphone? Hey, okay. All right, so you can just tell them. Yeah. Hello, Jonathan. Or Nick, whatever, sorry. My name's Nick, and I'm researching video games and, like, the effects they have on kids, like, if they're positive or negative, and, like, will it affect your schoolwork more? And, like, when you go home, do you want to just play video games all night or actually, like, work on your studies? Hi, Nick. Um... We also have Tommy online. I don't know if you guys have started your conversation yet, but he's also doing games and the impact on education or on, on the student, especially. So it would be cool if you guys could get a conversation going even outside of our hangout today. What do you think? Yeah, I'd like that. Just that to would be awesome. ideas, that'd be good. Cool. Okay. Um, Okay, so why don't we go around and do one more time, like where, uh, Nick, thanks for sharing. What about Daniel? Do you want to talk about what your research is? Uh, <coughs> my research is about, like, how technology affects students, like positive and negative effects, but I think I'm just focusing more on the negative effects that it has. Yeah, I think on mine, too, I'm just going to kind of focus on more of the negative aspects of it and, like, how it's... Just like not as good for kids when it comes to schoolwork. 
what what's something you've already found out, Nick? Like, what are some of those negative effects? Maybe we can start a conversation there. I know it can like cause laziness and just no motivation in school. And like, I even know a kid who dropped out of school, and I personally think it might be because of video games, because that's most of what his life is. He would like skip school and just focus on playing video games all day. And so those just kind of take away from your motivation in school. Tommy, you want to say? Um, and then let's. Tommy's the one that's also doing this explicit the uh, video game. So come on up, Tommy, so we can totally hear you. Uh, hi, uh, my research is about the major effect of video game, but I focus more on the positive effects because I feel like. Uh, can yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, keep going, Tommy. Sorry. Yeah, I focus more on the positive effect of video games because I feel like there, like there are many people who say that uh, video games are best. Like uh, they say that the violence is the main, is the main. Like video game is the main cause violence, but I don't, feel, I don't think so. I feel that because I feel that uh, I learned everything. I learned many things about video game. Like uh, I'm a gamer, so I feel. Uh, there must be something good about video game. That's why I try to focus on the positive of the video game. Yeah, I think some good things come out of it. Like you can become more creative, and like even when it comes to like sports games, you can learn about the sports and ideas with that. But like, yeah, like on my research, I'm just gonna focus on like the negative parts, like uh, like motivation and like laziness that can come with them. Yes. So, uh, Nick, I'm curious, what kind of what kind of work out in the? Are you gonna like I said, you, you said you knew a friend that, or you have a friend where it affected um, his how he did in school. Uh, what uh, what other things are you gonna do for your research? Um, I'm just gonna kind of look at more cases and like look at the studies of like how they affect kids, like more like wide range from ages. If it like starts at an early age, from like say like kindergarten if those games start like creating habits where you're not as like hard working in school as you could be and then just how it develops throughout more like intense games okay. or if the game has any effect on how your attitude is motivation uh, for me I'm a gamer too but I feel like I learned there's, there's so many things I learned from video games and I feel like it's not really a fast my education like, if you know how to if you know how to set up the schedule, you know how to, like, what t what kind of video game should you play? Like, I don't feel like it's a the negative effect of video game like that. Yeah, I think I kind of look into, like, what games, how their effects are. Like, personally, I don't think sports games have, like, a bad effect because, like, if I play a basketball game, it's kind of just the same as watching a basketball game to me. And I'm even more involved in it, but, like, playing a game like Call of Duty might have a negative effect because, like, <laughs> Killing and using weapons. I uh, think that in real life. Yeah. Sure. Thrown at him. I'll, uh... Hi, this is Nick's English teacher. You can stay in the frame. Uh, so, just so you know how it's going in our class, um, we're looking at different places for information. Um, so. Right now, uh, we have access, and just like you guys at your school, you have access to different databases. Um, so right now, we're just looking at uh, a database called EBSCO, and he's just going to be searching for his topic in one particular database. But in fairness to Nick, he was sick all of this week, uh, and we just started this week, so today's his first day back. So when we're talking about the research, he hasn't had a chance to actually um, do much uh, new research other than what he already knew. But anyway, and the stuff you're going to see on Youth Voices are people uh, today, they're doing um, research on their topics and they'll be posting what they're finding just in one particular database. And then we'll move on to other databases too as we go. But that's kind of how it looks in the class right now. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Um, him, 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 him. Um, him. Nick. 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 Excuse me, Nick. Yeah. Does everybody see what us sixth graders post? We repeat that. Does everybody, like in, like in California, stuff like that, can they see what us uh, uh, sixth graders post also? 
Yes. They can see your post on Youth Voice. Yeah, I think they can. Yeah. So you yes. can pick up and look at each other. You can look each other up, okay? Hey, look. Look, 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 look he's at it. Jacob and, um. So let me see a second. Can I? Take it up. Ten up? Yeah. Okay. Hello. So here's. Hi, Leah. Thanks, Mama. Um, so here's what I want to do. So could could we just have our students talk very briefly about how they play video games and, and the, the effect that they may think that has on them? I'm not going first. Okay, go ahead. Would that be okay? Hello? Yeah. That works. Hi. Good, Nick. And if you have questions to ask them, now's a good time. This is Noah. So, uh, so, uh, uh, I don't think I don't think video games affect so, us. What do you play? Um, I play GTA Five. I play GTA Five. I play all the games that came out, and I don't think that they affect me. I mean, I, mean, I, I go with both sides because it does affect me. Me? You know when you're in school and you go straight to the game, you forget everything that you learned today. You, you forget everything you learned. I don't understand. Okay. All right, like let's say if you learn something new today and you go home and play a game, you that forget about what the teacher said and did and did your work and everything. Really? Yep. That happens. That happens to me because in fifth grade I, I learned about algebra. Oh and my God! Yes, sir. In my game, I forgot. I forgot about the whole algebra. Oh, how it's not gonna be. Hard. I said hi already. I said hi already. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> okay. What about you, DeAndre? Do you play games? Yes. It's fun. I play like um shooting games, like action games. Like those are the games I like. And some of the new games are games like Call of Duty Ghosts and stuff like that. <laughs> I think it's sometimes. Hi, Wally. When I'm on college. Hi, Drew. How can I use good, good, good rule, good rule for scientific research? <laughs> All right. We go back to DeAndre's uh, answer of how the video games he plays. We can talk about Guru in a in a minute. Okay. It affects me sometimes because um, you see, like Noah said, Noah right here. Because when he said that um, when you get home, you learn something today. When you get home, you just forget about it the next day. And it kind of affects me. And I have to restudy in my books and stuff like that. So, yeah. But the, but the good side is that if you really, if you really want to learn about school, you can learn what you learn and go home and play your games, but then study again the same day after you play the game. You can still turn it on. Watch. Yeah, for me, I usually try to do my homework before I play video games. Just exactly. So that I yeah. I, uh, first. All my life. Okay. Go, go, go finish. Go. Oh, all my life I have been doing that. I have been doing homework first because I can't just go home and play games. I have to do homework. Yeah. Just like um, what's his name again? The 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 one the Nick. Okay. Just like Nick said. Yeah. Sometimes though, I feel like when the new game comes out, like Call of Duty or something, all your friends want to play. So then you just go home and play straight away without doing any homework, and then that just kind of no, can, calls. Like, create a habit. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> playing all the time. 